Many of you might know that the Helium community is taking votes for two HIP proposals, in particular for HIP 54 and HIP 55. And a lot of my viewers have requested me to uh, make a video on it. So in this video, I'll try to explain in simple terms what those HIP means so that you can decide your vote. Hey folks, this is Roy and welcome back to my channel, Eigentech. So we'll first go to the site heliumvote.com. And here you can see that there are now two active votes going on. First, I'll try to explain what is HIP 54. So if you click on here, there is some overall description here. And if you click on here, you'll find uh, the GitHub page where there are more uh, description in a lot more details. So they have used uh, this particular example to explain the problem. And I'll try to explain you the problem using the same example. So this is actually located in India. This is a well-known cluster to perform location spoofing and you many of you know that this cluster close to Lucknow actually in Sidhauli uh, was earning a lot of HNT by having a lot of beacons and witnesses so I'll explain why that happens and how we can improve it so the way that proof of coverage challenges are created is first a random hex at resolution 5 is selected however this probability is not uniform the selection probability is based on the number of hotspots inside that resolution 5 hex. Uh, normally it looks like this cluster is normal but if you zoom in here you will see that there are actually a lot of hotspots in this particular hex. So and if you click here you can see on the left there are a lot of hotspots. One of them is online but all the rest are actually offline. So uh, if I go to actually hotspot D, uh, here I have picked up the same hex and you can see here that there are actually 41 interactive hotspots and 351 non-interactive hotspots. So normally if there are no non-interactive hotspots, the, let's say the probability of selecting this hex was only let's say 4.1%. However, now putting so many non-interactive hotspots, uh, they can increase the probability. So, so basically you add them up, 351 plus 41, so 392. So the probability increases from 4.1% to 39.2%. So this number is just for example. But you can see how they can actually increase the probability by asserting the location of a lot of hotspots in a particular hex, even though all those were offline. So now the new HIP, what it will do, it will not actually consider these non-interactive hotspots while selecting the hex. So that way the probability of getting this particular hex at resolution 5 will go down dramatically. So basically now all the hexes will be chosen based on the number of only interactive hotspots inside that hex at resolution 5. And as a result the network will perform a lot better because the challenging events and the weakening events will be a lot more uniform across the network and it will be more legitimate as well. One minor point is that one can still utilize the technique but he or she will have to keep all those miners online so that just the asserting location will not be enough. So I think it is a very good proposal and personally I am voting for it. If you don't know how to vote I have made another video you can check that out. Next we will try to understand what HIF 15 is. So this is a very important proposal and it's supposed to improve the stability of the network dramatically. So let's see what it does, what it's going to do and here is a very actually good description of what this means so you know that the current if uh, this changes the proof of coverage challenge that are generated and submitted by the helium blockchain by moving challenging to validators the network stability will be greatly increased so right now these challenges are still created by individual miners but what this proposal is going to do we are going to move that part of calculation to completely to the validator so it will reduce the load of individual helium miners a lot so let's see what it will do. So this will actually fix all these sync issues and importantly all the relayed is issues. After this heap is implemented, none of the miners will stay relayed. So basically the relayed term will have no meaning after that. So nobody here will have to do port forwarding or there will not be any firewall issues. Also there will be very less SD card failures because the reading and writing cycles will decrease dramatically. Uh, on top of that, the hotspot bandwidth consumption will be also a fraction. So currently many hotspots consume about 100 to 150 GB per month, but it will go down to a very small value once this HIP is implemented. And then this will also reduce the cost of hardware. So you might be able to get the miners at a cheaper price and because everything will be basically light hotspots, 
and uh, the main internet range will be much smaller and most likely you will have much less downtime for your helium miner so your earnings will be a lot more consistent there is one small downside is that the uh, because now all this calculation burden is going to the validators so the economic reward so the distribution of hnt is slightly uh, uh, increased for them so the 0.9 percent of the total hnt uh, for creating poc challenges will now move to validators so uh, the hotspot um, the individual hotspots which were earning earlier 70.1 percent of the hnt's total hnt's minted will now only earn 69.2 uh, percent but this is a very small change and uh, the improvement i think will be very uh, tremendous and because the network will be a lot more stable and you will not have to spend so much time fixing and trying to figure out what is the problem associated to your, with your helium miner. I hope I could explain in simple terms what this HIPS mean and it will help you in deciding your vote. And I encourage all of you to cast your vote before that deadline. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section. That's all for today. Thanks for watching guys and get cryptonized.